Uh, Ryan, do you want to join that, or should I? And then we go from there. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I thought we were gonna watch it through the stream. Oh, yeah, I, that probably makes more sense, yeah. <laughs> otherwise we'll be out of sync. Get a lag. Good point. <laughs> Alright. All right, I think they're waiting on a, I think someone's on a work phone call, so it's just gonna be a moment for the two. From what I can read from turning chat. Hey, Chrissy, uh, quick question. Are we waiting for anyone else to uh, join and spectate, or should we get going? I think they just. Uh, I thought we were just going to watch. We're going to watch. Meet and Zion, like, well, we just watch through the VOD, but I guess I could just join the room. Okay, yeah, I, I just figured I'd double check before we got things going. Yeah, you want to DM me if the we, password if, then? If we, oh. if we do that, we're yeah. going to be out of sync. That's the issue. Because oh, I'm going to gotcha, be watching gotcha. through the stream, and he's going to be watching through. Okay, well that's totally fine. I'll just make sure that uh, I'll I'll tell the peeps to get going then. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Shit. All right. We are here with uh, week week three starting out with Stickleback Shoal and. Um... Wait, are you... uh, Chris, I'm assuming you started the stream already, right? To go. I can see the stream, so yeah. No, I think like is Chrissy starting on, on Twitch. Twitch already? Yeah, it's ready. Okay, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Welcome, welcome all to week three of uh, the DOS stream. I'm great. Follow uh, with me is the lovely Zion and Chrissy. How are you both doing today? Yeah. Nice. Chrissy's mostly going to be specking. Yeah, there. Chrissy's going to be specking, so it's mainly going to be Zion talking. But that is absolutely okay. And do they still have a sub? I think. Uh, no. No, uh, but, yeah, but I think one of them was going to sub out, but they came just in time, so there's no subs in this. Okay. So, still go back show, if I'm remembering right, is undefeated, and, uh, Pro Vibes, are they one and two, or? They're one and one. one. Okay. So. You will see how they um, bounce back. Because I think the oh. first, their first game, their first set, they won 4 0, and their second yes. set, they lost 4 0. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Was it, was Crow it Vibes, Vibes, yeah, Crow Vibes went 4-0 in their first set, and then they went 0-4 in their last set. But uh, let's see if they have what it takes to bounce back. I'm excited to see what both teams have to offer. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is no, The question is, is Stickleback going to go undefeated this whole uh, this week again? Or is or this where the rain fi finally falls? Because if I remember correctly, these two have scrimmed before, and I think, if I remember, my memory serves right, Crow Vibes, they come out on top of that. So, mm -hmm. let's see... Okay. Though scrims are always, you can never, you never know how you're gonna play in an actual game versus a scrim. Because it's definitely a bit of a different adjustment. It is the truth. Oh. Hey. And it looks like Ilta Alley Rainmaker is hey. our first one. So I believe controlling bridge will be the most important part. Um, I know Toaster is a Splatling player, and I believe. Honey Lemon mostly plays bow, although when I watched them last time, it seemed like she was playing a couple of different weapons. Yeah, so Let's Honey Lemon, she mainly does, she'll switch, she'll switch off between heavy and bow. Mm -hmm. um, so, I don't that'll remember, be interesting. Yeah. Because uh, I think Hardy is like a one trick, right? Or mostly plays. Wait, who's the one trick? Uh, Toaster? Yeah, I think Toaster mainly plays heavy, which is... Yes. So you always kind of run into that, switch into a weapon that's like maybe more meta, but not necessarily when you're comfortable with. So we'll see uh, how that goes. Uh, let's get started. Let's see what... Rainmaker Eel Tail. Mm -hmm. Alright, we got a Heavy, Slosher, 96 Deco, and a T-Tech. And mm -hmm. up against a, a Sloshing Deco, a Kraken Roller, a Bow, and Dual East. Okay. So, Dual East is... This is 
I say, Duelist is interesting because that craft tank uh, is really powerful in this map, especially when they get set up on the bridge. Yeah, uh, and Duelist is nice because it does have a, a lethal bomb, so in that it, it helps with getting pop, which is really important in Rainmaker because you can put pressure on pop, you can just have so much map control like right away. Um, they also, they're the, they brought out crabs, so they have a special that can um, retake the map for them very easily. Yeah. So, oh, you will see a lot of fighting from Stickleback Soul. Yep. Yeah. And... Stickleback got some... Yeah, Stickleback uh, picked up the Rainmaker. They got some points, but uh, they're currently down a few on paper. This might be uh, Quillby's opportunity to shine as they grab the Rainmaker, mm -hmm. t deciding to take the bridge path going left. They've already gone in with Ooh, a Kraken. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, yeah, they, they, they're picking a Kraken roller. What do you think of that weapon? Uh... I think it's good. I've seen Bubblegum play, she likes to be really stealthy. Um, I, I know she likes to shark with it, but it seems to work out for her so far. Unfortunately for uh, Curl Vibes, they missed the jump and didn't have the podium paint in a time. But uh, let's see if they can recover from that. Yeah. It also has Beacon, which is nice. Because there's only two weapons in this game, I believe. And they're both uh, No, uh, three weapons, I believe. Three? Yeah, oh, you're right, because uh, Sloop. Okay. Yeah. Right. Kill her coming out from the bone. Just trying to get it off, but being very pressured. Yeah. They did a good job all surrounding her. They have two um, mid-range weapons, so they have a lot of crossfire. Which yeah. basically means they can take fights without necessarily being in danger of trading. And they can kind of combo. Right, back with the pop. And then it's able good to break break. Yeah, but Stickle back able to take the checkpoint. They also have a double... Um, Flat bomb comp. Flat bombs are arguably one of the, the best uh, sub in the game. It's either that or first bomb. So. Yeah. Try strike coming out. Still go back and try and get that push in, but uh, go if I was playing some hard defense, try, trying to make sure they can't get in. Ooh, and the Rainmaker mm -hmm. is lost. Yep. Oh, okay, I think just painting. Yeah, crab, crab, crab. Okay. The crab tank is out, but isn't enough to pop the bubble. It should help them at least get map control. Game. Their teammates are going to have to play off of it. So their front line has already gone down. Alright, good. Yeah, well, that's a trade, the trade right that's now. more in favor of um, Circleback Troll because they are the ones pushing. Trades Ooh. are always favorable to the pushing team. The defending team trades are, are very bad. Yeah. So that was a great push. Alright, Troll uh, Vibes. Offing to pick up the Rainmaker instead of uh, letting it reset, even though, like, how far back it was. Let's see if they can make this push manageable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're gonna want to paint the map, build specials, uh, use Crab to kind of get in and get control and move the other team around. Yeah, Tri strikes oh. pressuring the Rainmaker, doing a good job, and then... Yeah, they all dropped from bridge there, which I maybe would have kept someone on bridge, maybe the Crab, because they kind of controlled that bridge area really well from there. Good. Let's see, they did get a pick. Yeah, Kraken out. Uh, let's see if uh, they can make any plays off of it. Mm -hmm. Trig got a pick uh, now on Honey Lemon. Let's see, he jumped out though. That was a good jump. Yeah. Probably did get the pop though. Let's see if they can do anything off that. And, and then Stickleback picks it up. Okay. Loses it down. immediately. Alright, they collapsed really well on, on Stickleback. Good. So. Ooh, crab tank out by Stickleback Troll Vibes. Crab. That, that is an excellent spot for Crab. Can you make anything happen? Trying to make some room for uh, Honey Lemon to get in. See if they can. Ooh. That was a good try trick. They pinched them in really well. When he was it, using his Crab, they, he probably wanted his teammates to maybe push in a little bit more aggressively. It seemed like no one was kind of pinching from the yeah. outside of bridge. And under a minute left now. Uh, Still go back. It still has a very substantial lead. It's gonna take like a very mm -hmm. strong push by Quill Vibes to make it back. Yeah, they still have to clear first check too. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a very it's a very step up pole battle for uh, Quill Vibes. And um, still go back's comp is really nice because they're just kind of setting up and picking off the the shorter range weapons that they're playing against. So. Because yeah. most of their range is gonna be coming from either Crab or um, Honey Lemon. That's the bow. Ooh. That was a good pick by Witch. Yeah, Witch gets the pick, but they're going to have to pick up the Rainmaker real fast, though. So they, they don't have, have any time. Yeah, they, um, another, kind of a, a flaw of 
so vibes comp is they don't have that many bombs, so they had to waste quite a bit of time just to get pop. So it took them a while to pop rain, which gave the other team lots of time to come in. Yeah. Try so strikes. Let's see, it's 3 3 now. 3 3. Try strikes make, making it so they can't push at all. Hey, they're, they're two down. They can maybe get a two push. Down. They, they could probably make that jump. Nope. Three down. Okay, there we go. Oh, You're gonna have to get it now. They're on that's the an over. Yeah, that's an overtime reset for them. Yeah, they did. Yep. Oh. 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 Wow. Nice. Yeah, that was um that would have that was a very difficult position because Stickleback was just completely set up on that right uh, yeah. the left hand side. So they would have had to move them first and then and then yeah. get that push. Yeah, that was a valiant effort, more. I will say. Yes. I think they um they wiped they had them down three twice in a row there, so I couldn't oh. quite see who was making the plays, but it seemed oh, like Oh, and I being corrected in the chat, there are four beacon weapons in the game, because Brella. Oh. Brella. Oh my god, I, I totally- I forget the Brella class exists, to be honest. It's, it's, Except for be honest. when I play with Paladur. <laughs> yeah, Paladur's the only one I know that plays Tana- Yeah, shout-out shout out to uh, Paladur for playing mm -hmm. Tana Brella. He's suffering, but he's still a Valiant Warrior. <laughs> All right. Looks like we're going into game two. Uh, game two is going to be. Mm -hmm. One second. I should have this map list. I. All right. We're looking at Clan Blitz on Scorch Gorge. Okay. Uh, I expect. I, I really uh, like this map mode. Actually, it can be a little stally sometimes, but it's probably one of the best Scorch Gorge maps. What do you think? Uh, um. Personally, I think I prefer ta I prefer Tower when I when I play on Scorch Gorge, but. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, Clan Blitz is fine. Yeah. Uh, Definitely you want to um, control like uh, that area just like right in front of the basket with the snipe and everything. Yeah. Um, that's like the big thing and you kind of want to control it usually from from mid if you can. And Tell you what though, we, <laughs> if you want a stally Clan Blitz map, wait till we get the game 6 on Hammerhead. Gee, sheesh. Hammerhead's in this map list? I didn't even know yeah, that. Yeah, it's game 6. <laughs> That'll be interesting. That's very right. choke point heavy map, yeah. Yeah, I actually did scrim against Crow Vibes, and like we did when we got here, it was just like no one scored until like the last minute. Mhm. Mm is that um? Wait, which which mode is it? Uh, Clan Blitz. That's what I was saying. Oh. Stally Clan. Yeah, because you can just—it's so easy to set up for the defense. I can do that. Sure, so yeah. I wonder if they'll change. Do you think they'll change anything from their comp, or do you think they'll keep it the same? Um. I know Kraken is very popular uh, mm -hmm. in Clan Blitz because like you can just have the Kraken roll up to the base if you can cheese it well enough. Yeah. I Kraken cheese is definitely something to. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I was gonna say like I I, I expect Pickle to stay on 96. Uh, hunt. I don't know if Bubblegun's gonna stay on Kraken roller or she's gonna stick switch to her junior. Let's see. I mean, beacon a beacon weapon would be nice for. Uh... For clan blitz, because being able to control the map is probably the most important aspect of this mode. Alright, what do we got? So. We got a heavy slosher, junior, and a 96 deco going yes. against a T Tech splash, a 52 gal, and a another T Tech. So it looks like Wit is trading out the T Tech for junior, so he's going for more paint and a little bit less aggro. So that'll yes. be interesting. Or did I say Wit? I meant trade. So. <laughs> Uh, the, the double T tech comp, that is a, in a okay. splash, that sounds, that's like a very meta comp, I will say. Um, it'll definitely give them a lot of bomb pressure, which is awesome, and a lot of paint, so, um, and then Bubblegum's playing Crab, okay. Uh, and they just like went away with the backliner altogether, I actually think for Clan Blitz, you don't need a backliner, which is... Yeah, I think it, I think that's Honey Lemon's plan to play because I've seen her play 52 recently, so I think this is a, mm -hmm. so I think this yeah. see if that back pays off for her. Yeah, so basically all of the all of the shooters will kind of uh, play a flexible role. The double from bubble gum. Ooh, okay. ooh, bubble gum. Couldn't get out of the bomb in time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, all right. Both teams yeah. almost have a ball. Well, Stickleback almost has two, but yeah. we'll see. Ooh. 
Yeah, and this is just the nice thing about the shooter comps is they're just so flexible and they can paint so much and they're just constantly rotating and moving around. That it can be, especially in clan blitz where being able to move fast and rotate fast is so important. Like you can just very quickly get overwhelmed and just like not sure what to do. Like, oh. if they can push in properly. Can't. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, that's the biggest flaw of um, that special is just not a lot of mobility. So if you get caught out, you're like a yeah. sitting duck. Yeah, you gotta be careful when you whip that out. You can't just like whip it out willy nilly. Mm -hmm. I would say that best bet. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, what are you gonna say? <laughs> <laughs> I would say the best bet is probably to try to get bubblegum set up on that tower in mid, and then they can push in off the crab and, and move them. Because that's another three down. They're defending very well because yeah, both teams playing very defense. Yeah, this is what you were mentioning earlier though. Like. This this could be like very stally. Yeah. So Bubblegum maybe would want to set up the mid and then the rest of her team pushes in off the crab. It's probably the best way to break that choke. Because definitely the choke is a little bit much. Yeah. Has them overextended a little bit. Uh, good defense. Yeah. Keep an eye on that uh, over overextension. Mm -hmm. Staying close together. Kel Chaos going for the left flank. That is a very risky maneuver. Mm -hmm. But, uh... Right now, uh, Yellow has a decent amount of clans. I think both have... teams do. Yeah, they might be trying to set up a ball and doing the crack and push. But, oh, yep. they're doing it now. Oh, there it is. Man. They can make anything out of it. Yeah. And blue is two down. Yeah. Uh, are they gonna throw crams at you? I don't... <laughs> Oh, yeah, they, oh they the classic, uh, <laughs> has like, wait, who's trade. It? That's a great trade. Blue's three down. Blue is three down. Alright, looks like they Our don't have any clamps. Yeah. Unfortunately. Oh, there, there is the clamps. Mm -hmm. And they're doing a, they did a good job of putting down their special as well, which puts so much pressure on the defending team. Especially a, a special like, um... Ooh, ooh, honey lemon, picking up the pity this early, that's, uh, that's a risky strategy to see if it works out for them. Yeah, especially because they're all short range weapons, so they're marked yeah. on the map. So. Oh, because the crowd, that's why they push. But, uh, ooh. Okay. Ooh, they got a pick. They've got one down. Price strikes out. Oh, she's going for it. Can she get it? Oh, so close yet so far. Oh, wait, Chasm. Okay. Do they have clams to follow it up? No, they don't. No. Oh, wait. It's works in it. Yellow is down too, though, so if they can stagger their spawns... Unfortunately, that does give Stickleback a pity, but, uh... Mm -hmm. And but, Blue but, does not have a pity. Yeah. Yeah, Crow Vibes are gonna have to make a ball quick. Yes, Crow Vibes um, currently has five, so... Pick them trick. And there's the crab coming in. out. Crab is out though. Good, good bomb. Oh, oh, nice flank. Crystal is uh, tumbling their specials very well. They, they, they're they putting so much pressure down how they expect their specials are. Trig with the flank, he's going in. Mm-hmm. He's giving his teammates lots of jumps. Oh. He's playing very smart, he's not overextending at all. It's, He's just kind of using himself as bait and then letting his teammates clean up a lot of the time or throwing bombs and getting bomb picks. That was a really good junior play. He maybe could have painted more as a junior. It seemed like he, we, when we were watching, he was sharpening a decent bit, but otherwise, like, everything was really good. Alright. So, 2-0 to Stickleback. 2-0 to Stickleback. Well, they, is this going to be the third 4 round again? be interesting to see. It did, right. it did feel like, um... Pro Vibes came in with a really solid game plan. Um, they just couldn't quite get their specials coordinated to get the pushes off. Yeah. Uh, also, shout out to the Eames for putting the map list in this chat so I can just open that up real fast because we're going to Splat Zone Sturgeon. Nice. Chrissy, how's. I'm not looking at Twitch chat. Chrissy, how's that looking over there? Are they hype? Awesome. <laughs> Chrissy's currently dying. Chrissy's dying. With a sore throat, possibly. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, Alpha, shout out to Chrissy for streaming while my capture card is dead. Mm hmm. Very much appreciated. Uh, who won Stickleback? It's 2 0 right now. Yes. Uh, you're doing great camera work, Chrissy. If you need a break, just don't don't be afraid to go back to the auto camera. <laughs> so what's the next minute? Uh, it's Sturgeon. Yeah, it's Splat Zones on Sturgeon. Oh, okay, so yeah, definitely controlling Snipe and Spinner is really important. Because um, if you can set up properly, you can lock out the other team really hard here. So. Yeah, it's also a very nice big map compared like, to the yeah. others in this game, so like it does provide a good opportunity for flanks. Mm -hmm. uh, I do know some people think Stur find Sturgeon a little polarizing, and I have seen some people complain about it. Just cause uh, you see people complain about every map in this game, though, so it's not really too... That's like, true. Like, I, I want you to point me to a map that people go like, Oh man, this is the best map and everyone agrees. You can't. Thank you, Eames. I see it now. <laughs> Except Mako Mark. That map, that map is perfect. I do like I do like Mako Mark. It's funny, I didn't even like it that much in 2. Like, I thought it was okay. But now, after playing Mince Me until my brains melt, it's like the most beautiful map I've ever seen. <laughs> Alright, we got a Hydra, Slosher, uh, Zimmy, right. and a Splash Neo going against a T Tech, Heavy, Kraken Roller, and a Tri Slosh Nuvo. Ooh, the mini. That's interesting. Yeah, I've been seeing Kelp play that mini. He does play he does play that really well in zones. It's probably like the best bubble weapon in the game. Um, the bubble. So it's like it's so defend it's so good at painting and defending and then it just sets up its bubble and just never dies. Oh, you think it's better than Junior? Yeah, because it can it can um it can paint up, which basically it means it has up, the range. But and you, Junior, but, but you're already vulnerable. Yeah. Though, when you have to charge, so. true. But it's just like Junior is a weapon that doesn't necessarily have the tools outside of its flat bombs to kind of get in, if that makes sense. And uh, I, Big Bubble really doesn't help with that at all. So it uh, the toolkit I think suits me just a little bit better. Uh, stickle, also, uh, real quick, Stickleback doing a good job, uh, you know, keeping control of the zone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're staying alive. Good pick. Yeah, uh, Slosher is really nice on this map, and so is Machine, because you can just, like, uh, hook it up over that geography and just how many players. Yeah. Good pick, good okay. Oh, can, oh, can they come back? Ooh, oh, oh, oh! Nice, cap. Oh, nice, two down. Now, oh, can they set down. up properly and lock out? Let's see. Oh, man, that's a nice comeback on, uh... By Crow Vibes parts out. You'll love to see that. Mm -hmm. They're taking Spinner, which is what you want. Yeah, taking Spinner. Oops. I think they see Chrissy over there. Yep. Yep. Chrissy, I don't want to take Chrissy. <laughs> Names are hard to read sometimes. Chrissy's there in spirit. <laughs> Chrissy's there in spirit. <laughs> okay, I'm coming in. Uh, still go back, trolls down one, but so is. No on one has. Nobody has no. Oh, I swear too soon. This. Okay. Oh, okay. But is Crow Vibes gonna come back with the retake though? Yep. Oh. Oh, they're actually having. They have a double spoiling comp. I just realized because they have. Yeah, it's an interesting. Yeah, it is interesting. Huh? And Hydra. Well, that's really interesting. Hydra is nice because it has Booyah Bomb. Booyah Bomb is just, like just a nice special to have because it lets you. Um, push in really easily and retake ma the map. Uh, yeah, Crow Vibes did take the zone back in the end of that. <laughs> so, it, so contrary to how the beginning looked, this won't be a uh, this won't be a, a complete yeah. lockout. It's not gonna be a hundred out wipe. Yeah. This is what. Yeah, I think probably that. wants to be playing a little bit further up. This weapon is very much about uh, going in and trying to. Yeah. Yeah, he oh, yeah. did have the, uh, the map. Yeah, he did. He did uh, get, get the drinkies out, so like he could be playing a little bit more aggressive. Mm -hmm. But uh, other than that, he's. Uh, I Good not, yeah, Can I make anything vibes. out of it? Yeah, Crowbite is uh, not giving up that zone without a fight. Mm -hmm. Ooh, they got it back. Let's see if they can yep. take it. Trick, it's called out. That is a delayed wipe. That oh, delayed wipe. Blue might be able to knock this out. Can they hold? Ooh. Let's see, they got lead. 
two, one. Nice. Oh, let's go. Very well done. Oh, yeah, no we were throws. we saw it from Trick's it's perspective, good. so it was easy to miss. But um, all three went down, and then the rest of Blue just collapsed after uh, Trick picked Chrissy. Chrissy. Now I'm saying, now I think Chrissy's in the game. Um, <laughs> honey oh, they're all envy, please. Mhm. Mm Aw, I don't think I've seen that emo yet. That's adorable. I I always wear that emo when we play. What do you mean? I guess I just. You don't pay attention to me. <laughs> <sighs> Too uh. on my own dabbing. Yeah, Sturgeon, I've, I've seen that before, especially once you're LDE procs, if you're running LDE, and then if you can get the wipe in, you can, um, you can knock out, it's just, you can flip it. Yes. Yeah. Alright, looks like we're going into tower control makeover. Hey, look, it's the perfect map I just mentioned earlier. Ooh, I do, this is a fun one. Uh, tower control, I'm, a lot of people feel like tower, uh, the maps don't necessarily suit tower control on a lot of maps, um, but I think it definitely here, it's very fun, yeah. especially since tower control is so much fun to play already as a blaster or as any AoE weapon, and then Macklemart is also really fun to play as an AoE weapon, so it's just yeah, it's people nice the, the blaster tonight. AoE fun. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's a nice fun map because like there's like a lot of room to move around. It's not like it's your standard mm -hmm. hallway map. Yeah. And like good flank options. Uh, you definitely yeah. want to prioritize controlling stacks and uh, especially on tower that sort of that left plat area where you, the defending team likes to set up to clear that first checkpoint. Yeah, where that you get a little grind well to get you there faster. Mm-hmm. So it's yeah. two one. I think this is the first game that Stuglebeck Show has lost. It, yeah. It the first game they dropped. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so yeah. interesting to see uh, Crow Five showing that they're not that invincible. Yeah, they're not going to take this line down. So good for them. Yeah. And they actually played very well in um, the combos game too. They just couldn't quite get a push stronger together. Yeah. Now let's see how they do in tower control though. Mm -hmm. Be interesting to see. Right, I'm get some water real quick. Well, pretty much starts. Alright, we're going into this. Alright. Now let's see, are any of them gonna run a blaster? Because I don't think, I don't know any of them that do run blasters. They might, uh, go buckets. Yeah, okay, so we got a Neo Splash, a 96 machine. Deco. Okay. Alright, yeah. And, a heavy yeah. and a slosh machine going against a T-Tech, another heavy, mm -hmm. uh, Kraken Roller, and a tri slash Nouveau. Yes, Kraken is very annoying, uh, Kraken Roller, if you can set up properly. Yeah, if you can get the Kraken on the tower, that's annoying, and then, like, drinks on tower as well. Mm -hmm. it's, it's and really also, Slashy Machine, this is an amazing map for Slashy Machine. I mean, Slashy yeah. Machine's amazing anywhere, but this especially is yeah. a really great yeah. map. Uh, uh, I would like to point out, Stickleback Show is the only team that has the Booyah in this comp, so let's see if they get the GG Booyah off. Mm -hmm. See, they're down two. Blue did a great job collapsing in on them. Nice to yeah. yeah. They have the wave breaker that, out. Yeah, they're getting that early push no going. But mm -hmm. it comes to try strikes. Yes. Honey Lemon is uh, holding down on that right stack. Oh, checkpoint one is passed? Yeah, they did great. Yeah, they had a really nice 2 2 setup where they had 2 set up on the right and 2 set up on the left. And they just completely are um, locking out. Oh, trade. They'll go back. So this is a nice really. Trade. Whatever pep talk they had in their VC has been very effective yeah. because they they suddenly got their oh in the second pitch we're all ready. That's a smart retreat, smart retreat from uh, help because he cleared check and then he backed up. He's doing a really great job painting as a T Tech too. Sometimes I'll watch T Tech play and they shark a little bit too much. Um, and with this weapon, it's it's actually very good at painting. Oh, Scroll Bob's already right. at already at the checkpoint. Yeah. Are they gonna go for the one hundred two down one? now? Let's see. Oh, three down okay. on Scroll Bob. Done by Wit. I think he got he got a double or maybe a quad or not a quad. Either. But I think it was yeah. a double. Yeah, bubble gun choosing the pain a bit for a mm -hmm. team. Yeah. Trying to show. Yeah. You just want to be uh ledge camping with those rollers. They're very dangerous there. Yeah. So, 
Oh, she, oh, she's, oh, she's been caught. Oh, yeah. People saw her. Good pick from pickle. A little bit overextended, a little bit off position. Yeah, but you know, if you make it work, it works. It's true. Good pick. And they did a good job using that booyah bomb to push um really back. Yeah, stick with right. that, coming in with retaliation of their own. Mm -hmm. So it looks like spawns are a little bit staggered now. Yep, blue's down too, so that could be very dangerous. Because Power Control is a very snowball heavy map, or, or mode. So if yeah. they're not careful, this could very quickly get out of control. Oh, good Kraken. Oh, oh good pick. Correct. Good, good pick. That, they needed that. Yeah. The yeah, tower going, going back the trade. other way. That's a great trade. Very good composure by um, Carol Bide, because that could have yep. gone. I could have quickly spiraled out of control. It could have, but it's still, uh, it is still Carol Bide's favor, though. Yes. Yeah. Carol still does have map control right now. Let's see if they can get this pick. Composer? No. He did a good job using himself as bait, and then his teammates came and cleaned up. Well done. Yeah. Price Rex coming out, fire from yeah. Carol Bide, but uh, just to go back and retaliating with their own. This map control from um, uh, Stickleback Shoal. They're, they're very good at painting the map and controlling the map. So, Although, it's also a comp thing, too, because um, Pearl Vibes has two weapons that are very much like to shark and get picks, but not necessarily paint too much. Which is kind of why when we saw Bubblegum kind of trying to paint, and then they just kind of picked her off. Which is unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah, Roller is technically like to shark instead of paint, mm -hmm. but... That uh, Kraken has been saving them though. They've definitely yep. uh, shut down multiple pictures now with that Kraken. Yeah. So they're doing very well. Good pick, nice. Good and that's pick. the other nice thing about Roller. It can just so easily get a double or a triple and then suddenly all of your momentum is gone. One, ooh, one minute left and then Stickleback Show still has to get back the second checkpoint. Mm -hmm. That's three down, okay. Yeah. Crow Vibes not going down without a fight. Yes. Playing... Doing a good job kind of holding position, but not overextending. Or staying alive. Good trade. Oh, good pick. Oh, that wasn't a well trade. Yeah, that wasn't, wasn't a trade at all. He got him. Yeah. They do have drinks ready. Okay. And they're two down. They're using their specials. So, control that left side. Nice. Oh, they got yep. 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 Our and they're just kind of waiting and picking off. Nice one. And they bring in the Kraken. Two down. Kraken is gonna ride the tower. Yep. Nicely there you go. That's done. Two. That's another. They game played that down. very well. Yeah. Yep. That was um. This was looking like it was gonna be three zero, and now suddenly it's two two. So well done to Crow Vibes. For, I know. Uh, hoping you know they they just uh, flipped the switch and uh, are doing great. This is a very interesting match. This is very back and forth. You love to see these kind of matches. Like, mm -hmm. I I'm sure that I'm sure the four O are hype for the teams, but like this is more hype for the spectators. Yeah, definitely. And they did a great job because their comp was built around getting picks, and they got those picks. They were sharking and getting them where they needed them. So, well done. Well done. All right, now we're moving on to Rainmaker Manta Maria, one of the newer mm -hmm. maps in this game. Yeah, uh, and it's changed a little bit too from two, because um, they made that uh, that right side push where you make the jump. It's uh, wider now, so it was an interesting change. I thought yeah. a little bit harder to fall. Yeah. And yeah, and bunkers. Small, yeah, bunkers probably still the most important area in Manta Maria. I'd say if you control bunker, you control yeah. probably the most yeah. important part of the map. Yeah, bunker is like where you, you know, you want to be. For the mm -hmm. most part, you, I mean, and uh, you definitely also like. I don't know if they're gonna bring out a crab again or not, but if you can like set it up on that, uh, if you climb up that side wall of their bunker and then you're on top of their wall and you can just fire down on them with crab, it's very strong. Well, Cal Chaos did play Duel East on the last crap on the last Rainmaker map, so maybe he'll do it again here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wonder if Wit is gonna uh, switch off the machine and go back to 
a slasher machine, or not slasher machine, a uh, slasher. Because I think that was the first time we saw him bring it out. Yeah, I mean, I think I knew why he played slasher machine, so that way he could, they could booyah mm -hmm. the tower, but like, right. unfortunately, Crow Vibes uh, had that unrelenting push that they were not letting go. Yeah, yeah. And it's definitely like, especially with the nerf to like ink consumption, because I've been I've been practicing a lot of machine, and it's like when you're trying to like desperately paint for Bria bomb or like get your um, sodas, and it's just like you're just constantly out of ink, and it's just like oh my god, I can't get it, I can't even paint, that's just running out, so that can be, and then everything's falling apart because they got that big push guy, and so you're just starting to panic. But let's see. I think he'll probably go back to Slosher. You, you, you think you see the Slosher coming back out? Yeah. Especially because Splat Bomb is so nice in Rainmaker. Like, it's just so... You just, just throw out all those Splat Bombs and the Rainmaker... Throw, just, throw just, just throw out the bubble and it's just... Yeah. It's just, it's just like... Yeah, because it's such a nice tool for not necessarily having to engage within within the opponent's range and you, you like, space them out and force them back. Or even get a pick, because they just kind of fall on your bomb. Alright, here we go. What do we got here? We got a heavy slosher, 96 deco, and a 52 gal. And going against a kraken roller, tri slosher nouveau, heavy, and splat dually. So splat dualies are coming out for the crab. Yeah, Alright. So they run double wall, so that's interesting. Yeah. And then, as you said, wit, I guess, is going back to vanilla slosher. Mm -hmm. One went down to pop. So that's yeah. immediate advantage just to go back. Yeah, that was the dual use with the crab. So unfortunately, crab is going to be a little bit delayed. Mm -hmm. You know, very good for stickle back. Yep, that might be a bit of a delayed wipe. Help us, good job staying alive. Oh, oh Kraken's out. Was trying to get the Ooh, Ooh. Ooh picked by the rain. Yeah, I, I felt that. Rainmaker. Yeah. <laughs> They're trying to defend the tower, the podium, but it didn't work out for them. What do you think of uh, 52 over T Tech? Ah, uh, it's an interesting choice. Um, I know 52 has the killer whale, but you know T Tech does ha have the splat bombs and the tri strike. Yeah. So it has um, one of the fastest kill times in the game, which is really nice. Because they might want to try to slow down that try. Um, have something to just like shoot the try with. Ooh, crap is out. It's gets a pick oh. already. Mm -hmm. That was a good uh, crab because it just like completely controlled street for them, which is really yeah. nice. Yeah. They also had a really good defense where they all set up properly and they didn't lose any oh. moments. And that is checkpoint for Crow Vibes. This is a really even game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, that probably looking pretty blue, but... And, yep, the whale did push them back, so that was a good displacement. That's probably what they want out of that circle. That wit kind of pinching around. Nice oh, double. Oh, bubblegum. Nice double kill by bubblegum. It's definitely a nice map for Lillard. There's so many places you can hide. And it's also really nice map for Beacon. I love Beacon. Though. Yeah. Ooh, bubblegum. <laughs> bubblegum gets to trade with the heavy. Mm -hmm. So go back to down two. Okay. Good pick. That's exactly what you want. Um, probably why he wanted that uh, 52, because you can, you can pick that uh, try off really fast um, and just trade out of this range. Well, I don't remember who's playing 52, but that was a good defense by them. Yep, Trig. Oh, Trig, thank you. So all from yellow. Let's see. Yeah. Ooh, it's sort of trickling in a little bit, so they need to be Good. careful. Yeah. They're down two. Yeah. This game is still pretty much even, 63-64 though. Mm -hmm. Oh, Kraken coming out! Frank, get the Rainmaker. Ooh, got him. Yes, I'll probably go. There's only a one point uh, difference between these two teams right now. So. I know. Well, that that Rainmaker's uh, pretty much staying in mid for the most part of this game. Oh, Kelp for Chaos, going for it. He's just running Ooh, they got it. it. They just, that's the most Rainmaker thing I've ever seen. Just, oh. <laughs> he was like, my, my I was just playing just Rainmaker. <laughs> I was just playing just... Rainmaker in open, and that, 
The amount of times that happened to me, I felt that <laughs> in my soul. <laughs> it can't go chaos, man. Just like he, he yeah. just saw the rainmaker. He's like, I'm getting the right. shit out of mid, and he just but, fucking ran. Yeah, he. That was great awareness from him because he saw they were out of position, and he just he just went for it. Which in rainmaker, that is huge. Like all it takes. Like um, this is a, a high watermark game, but especially rainmaker. So basically, all you need is it. All it takes is one push to win. And then if you set up properly on defense, that's all you need. So oh, yeah. that was great decision making. Oh, yeah. It looks like it looks like the rainmaker for Stickleback is having a hard time getting out of bunker though. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know how Trick survived that, but well done. Well done. There's three. There's three down. This could be a big push. Oh, but Crab is out though. That's uh, gonna be risky. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, 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 one point! Oh, oh my God! Point. Oh no! That was insane. Oh, oh my God! Got a triple! Wow! Oh, Thirty plus the thirty seconds. That was left. crazy. Oh, I am being so told that there is a. Oh, I am being told that there is a patch coming out soon. Oh, that God. is no good. Uh oh. <laughs> Um, Nintendo, please. <laughs> wow, someone needs to... <laughs> Clearly they haven't heard of DOS, if they think they, they can have... do that. <laughs> oh, within 24 hours. Okay, oh. Um, I thought okay, it was so we should be okay? Okay, oh, I read this, this is the last match pre-patch. I thought, like, this was gonna happen mid-patch, like, oh yeah, no. Yeah, I was like, oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. But, cool five's yeah, coming at... Coming back with the reverse sweep. Yeah, ooh, that would be... If it's a, no, it has to be, it would have to be 3-0 to be a reverse sweep, it was 2-0. Uh, yeah. It's like that a was a really reverse good, sweep. Yeah, that, but that was a really good game. Yeah, Play that was a... Rainmaker is so much fun to watch. When you're playing it, it you want to break your controller half the time, but like, watching it and all that back and forth is so fun. <laughs> Oh, well, and, that just a, uh, and that's also that's what makes those weapons like uh, rollers so nice in Rainmaker because they can just like walk up and and you know slap the Rainmaker and get a triple when they're trying to get those desperation pushes. Yeah. If you have the weapons that maybe don't necessarily have that same like instant DPS and they're really good at control, but when you're scrambling, um, which is where Rainmaker thrives, right? Um, that's when you really want something like a roller or something, and that's why um, Sploosh Seven was so nice in in two. There was all the memes about Splish Seven because it, it like it had it was so fast, it had fast DPS, had splat bomb. Hammer was like whatever, but it was really nice for dealing with um the shield pop and again it was like an instant one shot, so you could sharp and just one shot the Rainmaker and like it's just so and nice. You can do that. Uh, Alright, before I get into the next map mode, uh sh quick shout outs, I think it was Trig who just almost ran with the main Rainmaker. They almost had that comeback yeah. but they were one I think she got short. like a double or a triple and then grabbed rain and was just like one one point away from lead, so that was crazy. That was crazy. Man. <laughs> Alright, now we're- uh, I, I, Yeah, that 52 was definitely a good pick. It seemed like he was really comfortable with it and he was really making a lot happen. So. Alright, uh, now we're gonna move on to Clampton's Hammerhead. Uh, like I was saying earlier, this is a very stall heavy game. Like This is gonna be more stall heavy than it was on Scorch. Yeah, so very choke point heavy, so you just, you're either gonna probably want QR and you just go in constantly and die until you make a play happen, and then you can get in, or you want to use specials like Booyah Bomb and Crab that can just completely lock down areas and control it for you. So we'll see what they do. They might also do like a double um, uh, whale comp or something similar, because it seems like they're, they're favoring it. But um, Christmas is up, right? It's 3-2 now? Yeah, for the it's 3-2 Crowblast, yeah. Alright. So this is now the first time that Stickleback Shoal has been down in a set. Let's see how they respond. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking at chat right now. They want Stickleback to, to win this one so we get to a Game 7. Okay. They want that Game 7 real bad? Yes. Alright, what do we got going on here? We have... Heavy, Slosher, C Jr. and a 52 going up against Tri Nouveau, Vanilla Jr., Heavy, and a T10.
So that I think, um, yeah, I, I actually think that's a good, a smart call because yes, you can get like the meme push with Kraken, but it's like you, it's really hard to set that up. And now they'll have more paint and more like torpedo spam and um, wave breaker, which will put pressure on the map, which I think will be really nice. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, is probably feeling himself a little bit. One's already he's down. Himself. He's feeling himself. He, he's been he's been popping off this game. Ooh, and he got lit mm -hmm. right there. Good job pulling back so he doesn't get picked. If I'm quiet, that's because like I'm like trying to yeah. like. These games are too good. Folks. Yeah, it looks like they um, they dropped the all shooter comp as well. So it looks like Honey Lemon is gonna be seen with these flat. Yeah. yeah, we yeah we got some heavy on heavy action going on over here. Yeah. Good pick from Wit. Good. Or not Wit, Trig. I'm sorry. Trig. <laughs> Trig. Wit. Pick. All the all those one silver names. I know. Adam. <laughs> uh. And this is what I was talking about earlier, like, this is a, like, both teams having and trouble getting out of mid or getting it through the choke points. Yep. See? With, uh, trig with a good trade. See? Can they make anything out of it? Hard style with the ball. Can they push up? They do have a tri strike coming out. It is 2-2. Two, two. Okay, this is yeah. awesome. It's an ample opportunity. Oh, but Castle nice was the tri slash. Oh, at least it didn't fall off the map. No, that's happened before. <laughs> <laughs> Wait out yourself. Okay, good. Good. Oh, and then, yep, and good bomb throw. Nice pick. Oh, it just. They couldn't get any follow up here. in terms of plans. But... Yeah, yeah Crow Vibes with the uh, with the pity now. Mm -hmm. See if they can follow up. They're doing a good job. Um, Crow Vibes is definitely doing a really great job controlling the map. They have sometimes um, their map control. Because they would be often running those like double AOE comps, uh, would be a little bit suspect. But right now they're just painting everything, and they're doing great, holding it down. All right. Uh, so there's, uh, they're down one. They've lost one yeah. member. Oh, yeah. but they got the pick on a uh, trig. See if they can snowball that. Oh, go by with two balls. Let's see if, uh, let's see if they can get that push going. <laughs> Say that's a, a healthy number of balls. I would say. Right. I would, <laughs> yeah. Not not too many, not too less. This is the perfect amount. Just right. If if you have any different amount, I I, I suggest you consult your doctor immediately. <laughs> All right, that was a, a good little juke there. Um, I couldn't quite say who did it, but. Uh, Crow by losing one of their balls looks like they have to. They're gonna have to consult their doctor now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Curl down one. What can they... Okay. So yeah, this um... You probably don't want to try to have this. It tries like... Yeah. Oh. Yellow is putting a lot of pressure and they're down too, so Honey Lemon has to try and make this play. Yeah. Ooh. Oh. Uh, unfortunately, this Yellow is for Curl Vibes. Gets... Gets in again. Ooh. They did a good job collapsing though on the ball and, and, and stopping them. They're definitely um, trying to force it uh, a little bit there, but uh, sometimes that's just what you have to do when it's this choke point heavy. You know, in the map. Alright, both teams have a ball now in their position. Let's see if they can mm -hmm. get a push away. Oh, Chaos good gets kick. stopped. Which did a good job comboing with his teammates there too, so that was a good play. Now they're using their special to help uh, regain control of the map, so very good. Right. They don't even necessarily have to force a push, they just have to set up a knock out. Although that right. can be dangerous if you can, can make be. the other team. So, Alright, okay. less than 30 seconds for, uh, for Pro Vibes to make this push happen. If they cannot, that's mm -hmm. gonna be game 7. Yeah. Two down for Crow Vibes. The Crow Vibes trying to get, they're, they're staggering, they're trying to get that push going. Yeah. Where'd you? 
Looks like I did lose one Two. player. Their junior's coming in. Uh, oh, they're gonna have a ball. Unfortunately. Game seven. That's game seven. Game seven. Alright. Uh, last time I checked, the last time there was a game seven was when me and you fought, wasn't it? I think so, yeah. Yeah. I think it was similar, like, you guys were up, like, 3-1 or 2-1 or something, and then we no, came back Yeah, to... we were, yeah, it was two, we won the first two, you won game three, then we had game four, and then you guys swept the last three. Mm-hmm, so like a yeah. gentleman's reverse. Uh, I, yeah, uh, I, I still have PTSD from Wahoo, thanks for that. <laughs> God, I hate Wahoo. <laughs> yeah. I like the wall. It's nice and open, but yeah. Mm. But it's yeah. okay. I think it's okay in Rainmaker. More space. Move around a little bit. All right. So we have one last roll. match. We went all the way one to last game match. seven. That's uh, amazing. I, and I'll beat the game one of the week. William uh, giving me uh, the patch notes in the chat. I, I know, like... I saw that. I'm like trying not to like be distracted by it. William, just tell me if they nerfed crab. That's all I need to know. I think I think I saw they did nerf crab. Some uh, Splatstone's museum, by the way. Ooh, where we're this, going. So this is a map. A lot of people really like this map mode. Um, I feel like it's just kind of in plot, but like slightly different. But <laughs> we'll see. Well, it's definitely very much. Well, it's, it's, well, instead of like, you know, um, Inkblot has like a little, like, square block in the middle. Mm -hmm. uh, square shape T, I guess. Uh, this, uh, the, the museum, it has like a little spinner in the center, so. Yeah, but it's still like a big, like, uh, just like a big object in the middle, that, and it's like a bowl. <laughs> and then you have that one flank route. Yeah, Scorches also has the same problem. Yeah, Scorch, I think, is worse, though, because it has those grates, and that's, like, the only way to get into their spawn. So it's just, like, unless you're playing Splatlings and you ha you're running, like, run speed, you it's just really easy to get picked off, so it turns into this really awful choke. Also, also the, the the rock in the center is just way bi bigger than, like, Museum or Inkblot. Yeah. This is definitely one, though, if you can get control and you can take control of their, um, plat, um, you can, uh... Uh, you can set up really well, and, and and that's another one where with a good setup, especially in zones, uh, you can knock out really hard. All right, let's see what they do. It's like Pickle is sticking with the junior, the custom junior. Yeah, and we got a heavy slosher C junior and a 52 going against a T tech heavy mm -hmm. junior and tries. This is basically the same come from last game. Yeah, so I know you play with the junior player. Um, do you what do you, do you like uh, V Junior or do you like playing with a uh, C Junior one? Do you like a uh, I think I only like playing with I think I like the uh, the Vanilla Junior on Tower because it has Bubbler, but like for everything else, uh, mm -hmm. if, if you're playing a support weapon, nothing's gonna be uh, locations, and like you get that from Torpedo and yeah. Wavebreaker. Yeah, lots of pain too. Like uh, Torpedo, if it goes off, puts down so much pain. I think it's the most in the game. I remember um, it was. There was like a, a little chart that showed us which subs painted the most, and it was torpedo when it goes off, and um... I think yeah. Fizzy puts a lot of paint. Yeah, and Fizzy, and Fizzy. Which was the second most. Yeah. Alright, uh, Blue has good control. The Junior went down though, which is their best painter, so they might lose... Yep, that's not good. Yeah. Um, so what's that early lead though? Huh? Oh, unfortunately, Chasm goes down before he gets his drink keys. Yeah, all the curl is down. So, so, except for one that's coming in. Let's see? Oh, Stickleback okay. taking the lead now. Mm -hmm. Good. Well done. That was a good double. Um, health chaos. Yeah. Oh, curl vibes. Yeah. They they got the zone back. The the points are down. Mhm. Mm Game seven's not going to be a sweep, folks. Yeah. I like that jump because um, he didn't jump back to spawn, which would have taken him out of the play. He just jumped back to a teammate. Which is very safe. Yeah. Very good play from smart play play trick. And they are three down. Oh, oh and the wipe. Nice delayed wipe. Uh, and then 52 taking their flat, taking the enemy flat. 
Trey definitely seems very comfortable on this 52. He seems... He's doing a lot with it. Stick up. Oh. And now... Uh, now Provide's coming back with the uh, push of their own. Three down. This is still any. I wonder who got that. Couple of picks, I missed it. Oh, wow. good play though. Yeah, no. Good play. Oh, and they got the lead. Nice. This is, but this is still anybody's game though. Ah, oh. doesn't do a good job just kind of moving around those ledges, yeah. trying to look for, trying to start for picks or oh, for fish for picks, I guess you could say. Yeah. <laughs> Stick back. Are they gonna get? Are they gonna take the? Take it back though. Mm -hmm. Ooh, out of ink. Oh, out of ink. Jumping out. He jumped. Although he he decided to jump back to spawn though. They kept control though. They well did. Done. Oh, and now it's the back. Oh, now though. they have the oh, Let's go, bubblegum. Nice double. Two two. Both trees are down, yeah. so their 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 best king is down. Yeah. Arso, uh, set, he set up really nice on that. On the uh, spinner, though. Mm -hmm. That was a good um, yeah. uh, combo there between uh, Reagan. I think it was. Nice. Or no, I think it was. Uh, oh. All right, stickle back. Getting the zone back, but uh. Yellow is down. Stickle back. They're down to. Good flip. Can can Crow vibes take take back the zone though? Oh, Tri Strike's coming out. Mm -hmm. Alright. Still go back, getting it back though. Yeah. Uh, they, they, yeah, they are they. not they are not letting it go. Blue is staggering now, so this might be a, a lead flip. Yeah. They had they had a good start. Oh, and there's yep, there's yeah. still back with the lead. They don't really have any specials that can paint either, uh, except for kind of the tri strike. So their main yeah. weapons have to do all the painting. Two, now. one. Ooh, oh, and well that's done. the game. That was a good set. Yeah, still go back, keeping keeping their undefeatedness, but they had to work for it this week. I oh say. yeah, they they had to work pretty hard. So that was a really good but game. That was mm -hmm. a really good game. They made some good adjustments too when they went down. Yeah. So, good plays. That good was plays so well. close. It was. I was at the edge of my seat. Like it was hard to talk because I was like watching it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're just like eyes like plastered Ooh, open. Dude. Like who's gonna take this? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the the Splatoon uh, music playing, like that one um like Clockwork Orange. Great, just strapped down. <laughs> All right, and that is it. Stickleback takes it here. Yeah, Stickleback four three. Great game, great set. Great game. So. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the show. I mm -hmm. uh, thank thank you again to both Chrissy and Zion for being with me here today. Mm -hmm. Very welcome. Um, yes. We'll catch you back, I guess, Friday for. Uh, was <laughs> I forgot my own to think Royal Butt Cracking as they go up against Anchor Management. Mm -hmm. And then Saturday, I believe it is. I think it's your team, actually. It's. I think we're playing Sunday. We're playing Sunday. Okay, Sunday is Magic Eight Ball against the um, Boomy Kaboomy. Yes, yeah, that'll be fun. <laughs> All right, well, y'all have a good night. Yeah. Stay Good job to all the teams. You are awesome. So much Good fun job, to watch. Everyone. So much fun to watch. All right. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye.